Hello, this is Dan Parisi, Group Editor, Commercial and Security with Emerald. So happy to be joined today by Bill Zhu, who is Director of Product Management with Christie Digital. Topic of conversation is, of course, command and control, aligning with CI plus SSI's command and control deep dive, which will be all over commercialintegrator.com throughout this month. Christie Digital, of course, is a recognized display leader, has a lot of strength, particularly in the command and control market. And so we wanted to invite Bill on to talk about some of your technologies, some of your advancements, and some of your thoughts on the category as a whole. So thank you so much, Bill, for being here. Thank you, Dan. So let's get right into it. And I want to focus on two particular control room products from Christie Digital. I'm talking, of course, about Hedra and Terra. Do you want to start with Hedra and what makes it different? As far as I know, I'd like to start with maybe the embedded hardware-based platform aspect. Do you want to talk about what makes it special? Yes. Hedra is based on FPGA embedded hardware. What this offers is more security. So it's not a window PC based uh, video wall processor. And the inputs are all baseband. So you get the highest image quality with uh, minimal latency. You know, unlike some of the IP based product out there. So the ideal candidate are uh, customer who really care about their image quality, who uh, really care about security. They want a really easy to set up system that's very reliable. And that's the kind of customer that really appreciates the uh, headdress. So we have some secure agencies that are a customer that we recently did a large uh, lab, R&D lab, the control room for that. And they, they really want it. Uh, they appreciate the ease of use part of it uh, instead of having to set up uh, AV over IP over a network. They prefer this kind of direct connection. And that makes total sense. So Hedra is just a perfect fit for people who need that high reliability, high security, real time with very little or no latency, super high image quality. This is kind of the perfect fit for them. Do I kind of have that, that pretty well encapsulated? Correct. You're correct, yes. Uh, is there anything else you'd like else to add about Hedra? Anything else that might make it special? For example, I see some notes here about custom output timing to support non-standard uh, resolution yeah. display. So one of the trends we're seeing is more and more of the control rooms are going into uh, using LED video wall as the price come down for you know the higher pixel pitch, like 1.2 or even 0.9. So more and more control rooms are uh, going with LED video wall. And with LED video wall, you often don't get a standard uh, 16 by nine type of a resolution, right? So the uh, Hedra supports custom output resolution. So it supports any pretty much uh, video wall resolution. So that's a, a unique feature of Hedra, and we have done a number of LED video walls. Yeah, I think that that's a, a very, very good point to, to mention, because obviously, as you know, as all of us know, LED is continuing to get more and more attention, more and more applications, and I think that probably will be a very big part of command and control's future. So that kind of flexibility, I think, is very important. Do you also want to talk a little bit about Terra, uh, which is another solution? I think that's SDVOE standards based, right? Yeah, before we go into Terra, there's one other thing I want to talk about Hedra. Sure. The third piece of uh, Hedra is it, it includes a uh, KVM switcher. So the other application we have success for is a small control room. And instead of having uh, you know, a separate KVM switcher, a video processor, and potentially other device. So Hedra replaces a whole bunch of device as a control room in a box for a small control room, you know, a, a small video wall plus, you know, up to three or four operators. An operator can have multi-window desktop and through a single keyboard mouse, they can have multiple monitors on their desktop, single keyboard mouse, 
wherever the mouse is, you double click the window, you take control of that source PC. And this product lets you do custom layout of your desktop. So it's not a standard quad split. You can have a large area for your working area, then smaller windows for your monitoring. And you can swap the monitoring window to your working area easily. So that's the third feature where we have some success selling into smaller control room as a single box solution. Yeah, that's Thank you so great. much for adding that. I appreciate that very much worth mentioning that control room in a box aspect, as you say, for the smaller applications in terms of number of operators, et cetera. Uh, so thank you for adding that. But would you also like now to turn to Tara and talk about that SDVOE standard approach? Yes. So uh, since COVID, uh, more and more customers care about supply chain resiliency and they're less willing to you know, commit to a non standard as the corporate uh, AV distribution standard. SDVOE is a standard-based solution and the, the SDVOE compliant solutions are, should be compatible to each other. So that's one reason pick customer go with SDVOE on top of it's the, because it's uncompressed to give you the best image quality and the lowest latency among all AV over IP solutions okay it is 10 gigabit so you you need to often need to put in a new switch but the price of 10 gig switch also came down quite a bit in 2022 2023 so you know in terms of cost of equipment for the system it's on par between a 10 gig solution versus a one gig type of solution right now I think that's very much worth mentioning. I think those cost curves, as you say, have bent meaningfully in the last few years. And to get that uncompressed 4K video, that zero latency, that there's a lot of value there. I do want to talk about one other aspect of Terra, that being its scalability. My understanding is that a single controller can support 1,000 plus endpoints, something like that? That is correct. That's a differentiator between the Christy Terra versus other uh, SDVOE implementations. So we actually use fairly high-end server, uh, a dedicated high-end server as a controller. And because of that, we can support, you know, a thousand plus endpoints with a single server. And we also offer a backup server redundancy. And we have deployed a number of projects with many hundreds of endpoints. So, yeah. Bill, before we wrap up the conversation, obviously Christy Digital has a sterling reputation in the industry known for magnificent image quality across a whole range of different formats. Clearly, you're also a leader in those control room products with Hedra, with Terra. Anything else you would like to add? Any closing thoughts? Any other messages to share with the integrator channel and our audience? Yeah, one thing is, you know, when you think about deploying a system, you want to think about, you know, the support service. And if you can get both the display and the processing from the same vendor, it will be a lot easier for your support, ongoing support, et cetera. So that's the last point. Thank you so much for adding that, Bill. And thank you especially for taking time to join me today and being part of the Command and Control Deep Dive and sharing your knowledge with our audience. Thank you, Dan. Pleasure to have been joined by Bill Zhu, who is Director of Product Management with Christie Digital. My name is Dan Farisi, Group Editor, Commercial and Security with Emerald. As I said earlier, please keep your eyes on commercialintegrator.com throughout the month of August, when we're going to be spotlighting co uh, control room-centric products in our command and control deep dive, including products like Christie's Hedra and Terra. Again, thank you, Bill, and we'll see you back here on commercialintegrator.com soon. Oh, 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 oh,